All right, guys, here we just wanted to show the bottom side of this here. This is a bracket or the dipstick tube off of a um, 47RH. And right, that is a 47RH, isn't it? Rusty? Yeah, yeah it is because the RE is on old files. The RE's. Okay, so this is off of, yeah, this is the 47RH dipstick tube. Um, and we were able to make it work with compounds. You can see the hot pipe coming down from the compounds. We've thermal wrapped it. It goes right up beside it. And I'll go ahead and, and put this on pause so you can see the top side of it too. Um, so let's go top side now. Okay, now we're back top side. Um, you can see where the dipstick tube for the tranny fluid comes out here. We routed it this way after much debate. We had looked at many different spots for it, and all the other spots involve reshaping the dipstick tube, which we did. Uh, we trashed one dipstick tube trying to make it work so that it would come out nice and neat over here. Anyway, but it can be done with just a stock 47RH. Um, you might have to move where the mounting bracket is a little bit and get that lined up a little bit, and it bolts to the bell housing case. So anywhere that's just a, a pointer if you're using an automatic transmission of 47RH in a third gen body with a 12 valve swap and running compounds this is what you can expect to see for dipstick placement.